Mrs. Yose's classroom blog has a cluster map on it. This gadget keeps track of blog visits. We took a close look at the cluster map of Africa. Each red dot represents an African visitor. Watch us turn National Geographic's giant map into a human cluster map. Zambia. Africa is the second largest continent. We measured its length and width. It was six third graders long and five and a quarter third graders wide. We measured the coastline of Africa using our bodies. It measured 23 third graders. Africa is separated from North and South America by the Atlantic Ocean. To the north is the Mediterranean Sea. The Suez Canal and the Red Sea are to the northeast. Finally, to the east is the Indian Ocean. The equator is an imaginary line that runs like a belt around the middle of the Earth. It is halfway between the North and South Poles and measures zero degrees. We also straddled the Prime Meridian. The Prime Meridian, along with the 180th Meridian, separate the Earth into Eastern and Western Hemispheres. The Prime Meridian measures zero degrees. Pyramids of Giza in Egypt. These different things are entombed inside. 
leopards are found in the sub-Sahara. Look at those beautiful furs that's on its fur. They provide great camouflage. Zebras live in Africa. The stripes on a zebra are all unique, like fingerprints on humans. The tallest land animal is the giraffe. They grow 14 to 17 feet tall, perfect for reaching the leaves at the tops of trees. Lions live in groups called prides. They spend about 20 hours of each day resting or sleeping. These are male lions and you can tell because they have manes.